British shall they breed as we know it in uh, this country today, developed and refined to suit British farming conditions from the original importations of French Charolais into the country just over 50 years ago. The show itself here at uh, the NEC, principally sponsored by Barclays and Weatherbees, together with uh, Melton Mowbray Market, our principal sponsors of this Charolais ring. Chief Steward here around the ring is Graham Robinson and Graham will be looking after our judge this morning and our judge is Mr David Murray from Forfar uh, up in Angus in Scotland. The judge in the ring is a man who deserves introduction as well, uh, David Murray, and uh, he's had a lot of association with the Charolais ring. Hello. Thank you for that and uh, we're very pleased to welcome him here alongside these breeders who have brought beef cattle to this show yeah. for the first time. This live event for the year 2013. Yeah. 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 Young team there with the barn prefix on the cattle, they, they breed themselves. Well done to uh, as breeders in this country refine the cattle that they were offering to the commercial sector. We've uh, seen the development of the British Sharon, as you will see it presented in uh, this judging ring here by breeders from all over the country this morning. So ladies and gentlemen, here we are at the livestock event for year 2013 and we're at a first as far as uh, beef cattle farmers are concerned in this country. The judging of a top run of pedigree Charolais beef cattle. We uh, hope that this will be a forerunner to see pedigree cattle in various categories through this event. Uh, with the support of the farming community, this will become a technical event. Thank you very much. So just to recap the class number in judge, this is class number three in the program, class number three. And uh, stepping forward to present the prizes for this class on behalf of Kibbles, one of our sponsors here today, we have Redfords Williams, who's chairman of the Southwest Charlie Club. So a big thank you to Redford for her kindly stepping forward on behalf of Kibbles. Go down to Carmarthen to Alan Davis, 
He's looking for a ball with size to the Dedeni and straw cattle that are in demand with quality muscle. Square or weight all the way through the body is what he's looking for, but he's also using today to make these selections breed plan figures. Remember the modern British Charolais is principally attacking the side of the crossing on to suffering cows, whether it's the hills and mountains of Scotland or Wales, whether it's the Moreland of the West Country, whether it's on the marshes of many of the uh, southern and eastern seaboards of this country, the Charolais breed from when it was first introduced in uh, the late 50s and uh, principally in the early 60s has been one of this country's top terminal sire in breeds. So in first place, receiving the red card, our winner is number 27, Ian Robinson Jr. with Charlie's Honey. The second prize ticket, this goes to number 29, Mr. Griff Morris, retired with Harmony. In third position, we have number 35, J.C. Vostok and Son with Ramsfield's Former. Fourth position, number 34, Mr. Griff Morris with Cardiff Holly. Fifth, fifth prize, this goes to number 31, Mr. Vostok with Ramsfield Harmer. And in sixth place, we have number 32, also from the Vostok team, with Ramsfield Harmer. And our best female from the four classes. While we, the stewards prepare and the handlers prepare their cattle for the ring, we omitted our tour around the country during that last class, but we can appropriately introduce the exhibitors who come here today from Wales. Griff Morris and uh, Messrs. Robertson Jones. Griff Morris with Garth and Steph breed their pedigree Charolais cattle on a farm in uh, Carmarthen. I'm sure you'll agree with a superb show of females here today for the Charlie breed. And David's just making his way through the line before he makes his final decision. And he's just going to say a few words before he taps his champion and reserve female out here today. So I'll now hand you over to our judge, Mr. David Murray. Good morning, everybody. It's a fantastic honour to be asked to come down here to the inaugural show. And what a display of females we've got this morning. I was trying to get them with plenty of size and power, and I think if, when you look in the ring, you can see you've got that. There we have it. So our female champion today goes to Carmel Breeders, Rob and Louise Truman with Romson Gamble. And there we have, following through into reserve female championship, this is from the White family with Balbethan Bal Gypsophilia. So congratulations to our winners. Yes, once again, put your hands together, please, for the first of our champions here, the female champions under reserve. So now on to the bull classes. And this is class number five in your program. Class number five. And this is for Bill Born in 2011. And very kindly sponsored in this class, we have United Auctions. And to re represent United Auctions up in Sterling, we have uh, Pam Murray. So Pam's very kindly going to step forward to present the prizes in this class on behalf of United Auctions. So this is class number six in the program. Class number six is, uh, this is our biggest entry for all the shiny classes here today. We have a total of nine entries forward in this class. So on we go with this uh, national Charolais show. Principally sponsored by Messrs. Weatherbees in their DNA laboratory based over in Ireland, and of course Melton Mowbray Market. Uh, the presentation for that female championship. More than just a cattle market, uh, livestock sales every Tuesday, special catalogue sales throughout the year as well. He's judging our class list this morning. He's taking us through the females and selected from the West Country a champion female. And one exhibit forward in the senior ball class, and this, numerically, is the strongest class. And we'll go back to the rim team 
for the final results of the presentation. Um, this is for Mr. Mr. Mrs. A. White, Jane Brown. This is for Biff and Hannibal. In second position, ticket goes to number 44, D.H. Knox. This is from Jane Hugo Boss. Third prize goes to number 41 from Harvey Wood with Old Lady Combat. Fourth prize, number 45. This is from Mr. Robertson Jones with Bell Mile Harlequin. Fifth prize we have is number 46 in your catalogue from BM Robinson Jr. with Charlie Harvey. And sixth prize card, this goes to number 40 in your catalogue, this is Jake M. Robinson with Clifton Park Hadrian. In your programme, first prize, number 39. Second, we have number 44. Third position was number 41. Followed by number 45. Fifth prize, number 46. And in sixth place with the winning card of exhibitor number 40. So a big thank you to United Auctions for a very kind response from this class. There's really no need, no good reason not to use a Charolais bull across all sorts of different breeding programmes. The modern British Charolais does have the ability to give you the holy grail of acceptable carving ease performance without sacrificing the growth and confirmation for which the breed is quite rightly famous. Judge, Mr Murray has made his decision. This is class number seven in your programme. I present the prize in this. We will Mr Tom Wrench, who is manager of Rugby Farmers Mart. A big thank you to Tom and the team. So our winner in this class is number 56 in your programme. This is Darren Knox. This is Colford Hector. Second prize, this goes to number 54. Dan Harmon with Silver Hadrian. Third position was number 49 from Fessus Donga with Sewell Harry. Fourth prize ticket goes to number 51 in your programme, the Times of the Sun with Walden Court. So it's class number 7 in your programme, class number 7. So we move on through March through to early April. Capital were actually being judged. My role today is supporting the the Charolais, of course, you can't get away from the fact that it is a continental breed, it is a French breed of big cattle, but it has over 50 years been improved tremendously. Breeders in this country have re imported embryo and semen as well as live cattle to further enhance their breeding program. That is a story, a credit to the breed, like calls back to Newcastle. Calves with growth, calves with that width and depth of fleshing that was demanded by the meat industry when we first went onto the continent around 50 years ago. And very kindly presenting the prizes in this class, we had Mr. Alistair Wisdom, as President Chairman of the British Shirley Cattle Society. And thank you to your sponsors to James Green Farm Machinery for their support here today. Class number nine, um, mention these are the junior members. Macmillan and McInnes, this is 2 Max Hitman. Third prize card goes to 
was number 74, Jess Bostockenson, with Brownsville Excellent. Fourth prize, number 68, from Zara Larcher with Honesty Hancock. Fifth prize, number 69, from Jess Bostockenson, with Brownsville Hercules. Sixth prize card was number 72, for Zara Dawson, with Dawson's Heel. Now our next class to move to will be the second of our championships today. And we will have the overall male championship. So we continue this uh, wonderful show. British Charlie, Big Cattle, Darren Paul still have the rating here from uh, five different age groups. There's a single award in the first class, and the rest of us will have champions and awards. Fantastic show of Charlie Cattle for the inaugural show and I think the ring is just so impressive with these nine ten bulls standing there and the, the top end is really really good and I've gone for a bull which is just full of quality a big bum on him and I think he'll turn into a, a tremendous tremendous bull when he's a bit older and I think he's just a, a right good one. I think for us there, I'm going to stick to the same sort of type, a real natural hip, clean middle, and a good book header. There you go, that's for us there, Mel. So there they are as they leave the ring. You heard the judge talking about the super bum on his balls. At the end of the day, it's beef calves that we want to produce by using these Charolais balls in this country, a quarter of a million of them a year. We've had this opportunity over the last uh, few hours to showcase the work that is done by many group breeders in this country with beef cattle. The importance of selecting the right breed and the right wool from that breed to do a job for upwards of 10 or 12 years on your farm is second to none if you're a beef farmer. So we look at these young pedigree Charolais bulls representing farming, beef cattle farming, here in this country today. So he's just casting a final eye over both of the champions before he will tap out one of the winners. So I'll now pass you over to judge Mr David Murray. Well, I'm left with two cattle here and they're both outstanding in their own way. But I think one of them just does stand out, and she's a great big cracking heifer and make a lovely cow. Well done. So there we have, folks, the winner of the 2013 British Charlie Cattle Society National Show. This goes to Athlete Exhibitor Number One. This is from Rob and Michelle, driven from. Cornwall with Frunston and Gamble and very kind of presenting the award we have the newly elected society president Mr Ralph Needham and as I mentioned earlier this lady is no stranger to the show ring she has already picked up several awards this year including the reserve female championship the Devon County show she was also female and reserve supreme champion at Royal Cornwall just recently and today she adds to her show success credit the Supreme Champion of the 2013 National Charlie Society Show. So well done to our winners. Put your hands together please for our winner today. It's one of the aspects of this show that has been, to me, extremely impressive. Look at the Charolais in uh, America under ranching conditions. I've got an article here about a man who runs the Bonds Ranch. If you read through it in detail, he's uh, finishing around 20,000 cattle a year. There you go, our judges have to bring us forward. So our winning pair today, this is from Mortimer's Farm. And we do have a, a reserve placement 